the invocation, if you please please stand up for the Tonight, the National Anthem will be played by Mr. Thomas Callahan, the first official state trooper.
friends and family, grant unto our beloved country and to all nations the desire and the determination to follow thy will concerning peace, justice, and brotherly love. Grant that our people may come to know the righteous way and knowing steadfastly that understanding righteousness and peace shall always be ours. In your name, amen. I'd like to introduce, uh, please be seated. I'd like to introduce our dignitaries for this evening, representing the 19th State, uh, state, state 19th uh, Senatorial District, Senator Kathy Austin. Representing the City of Norwich, Mayor Peter Nystrom. Representing the Marine Corps League, St. River Detachment, Commandant Robert Montgomery. <laughs> Representing the Army Division I, Deputy Commander Robert Dietrich. <laughs> Unit Commander Three Rivers and Marines, Patrick Mann. <laughs> and our honorary for this evening, Sergeant Major. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize some other dignitaries in the audience, representing North Street Academy, Mr. John Iavino, Director of Student Affairs, <laughs> representing the State Marine Corps League, Mr. Lou Ferret. Representing the Southern New England Battalion 1, C.O. Kucher. <laughs> Representing the Military of Purple Hearts, Mr. Maurice Bodine. <laughs> and representing the North Area Council, uh, Veterans Council, Chaplain Bill Suspini. <laughs> I'd like to welcome everybody here tonight. Most of you here are aware of what the Young, Young Marine program is about. I just want to point out a couple points of what the Young Marines is for those that really aren't sure of what we are and what we do. We promote the physical, moral, and mental development of our members. We advocate a healthy, drug-free lifestyle. We instill in our members the ideals of honesty, fairness, courage, respect, loyalty, dependability, attention to duty, love of God, infidelity to our country and its institutions. We're going to now play a small, uh, short video. Oh, we don't have the video set up. Okay, we're not doing the video. The video is out of the way. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'd like to now introduce the Three Rivers Young Marine Unit Commander, Mr. Patrick McBean. Well, good evening. It's kind of warm in here. Uh, I have two speaking parts tonight, so this one will be my short one. And I am honored and privileged later on to introduce the honoree before he makes his presentation. Uh, my remarks now will generate around the unit that uh, Sergeant Major McMahon belongs to and will be leaving shortly. The Three Rivers Young Marines was chartered September 17, 1995. Um, the Young Marine program has been in existence since 1959 and was chartered by the Marine Corps League as a national youth program in 1965. We are the Drug Demand Resistance Program from the United States Marine Corps, and they adopted us as such in 1995. Now, one of the things that many of you don't know, which is why, and I get yelled at about this, why I think this is the best program. I was a Boy Scout growing up. Girl Scouts are great. Um, there are other great programs. But the Young Marines is open to everyone. Every young boy or girl, regardless of race, creed, color, religion, orientation, it doesn't matter for this program. We are open to every youth from the age of 8 till 18. 
And that's what makes, I think, our program a very special program because you have some very young, young Marines learning alongside some older young Marines. And for those who are familiar with the program, we have some senior female young Marines giving orders to younger male young Marines. And as we all know in life, you know, they need to develop those skill sets early on. And many of us will grow up to have female bosses in the workplace. And even from a young age, they need to know that regardless of gender, ethnicity, religious background, that they could be supervisor or subordinate in any given moment. So we have a very good unit locally. Um, we're blessed to uh, have NFA at our disposal. This was um, normally have our programs at our home base, which is the Noix BFW uh, on Connecticut Avenue. They've been our home for the last seven years. Our unit began in Lisbon. Uh, but Connor being a senior at Noix Free Academy, and for those who don't know, he's a fourth generation, soon to be a fourth generation alumni. His dad is a graduate, his two older brother and sister are graduates, his father is a graduate, his grandmother is a graduate. And so he will become a fourth generation alumni in about two weeks. And so it's and so NFA is a great, if you're not familiar with the area, it's a great campus, it's a great school facility. It's just a wonderful place to be. It's a community school and to offer, they've charged us nothing for the facility tonight, and it's a great place to have this kind of event. So in closing, uh, we have a great staff at the unit, 12 very committed adults. Some of them have kids in the program, you know, we, we have those parents, and I'm not one of them. I didn't take over until he was way outside my league. You know, we have those, but we have parents, that are involved for the right reasons. We have adults that are involved that don't have kids in the program, but certainly want to see our kids nurtured and mentored and become great citizens. And I think for those young Marine instructors and adults out there, we'll see that Connor, people like Connor, used to be the exception to the rule, but the program is turning out more and more kids like him. Uh, military academy graduates, uh, business school graduates, and they want to be very, very successful um, adults. And I think that's all we can expect. So thank you for coming. I will spend more time introducing our guest of honor later on, but for now, uh, we'll turn the podium over to some more important people. Thank you very much. I'd like to call forth uh, Senator Kathy Austin uh, for a presentation. She will also be giving a, a reading a letter from our congressman uh, representing the 2nd Congressional District of Connecticut, Mr. Joseph Courtney. Good evening, everyone.
Remember to use your experiences to set a positive example for others. Once again, congratulations on retiring from the Young Marines. I truly appreciate your contribution and thank you for your service. Best wishes on all your future endeavors. signed by uh, Senate, uh, Senate Pro President Pro Tem Don Williams, uh, Speaker of the House Brendan Sharkey, and Secretary of the State Denise Merrill, congratulating you on retiring um, from uh, the Young Marines. It is also from myself, Representative Ryan Sear, Representative Emmett Riley, and Representative Kevin Ryan, who extend their condolences in not being able to attend this very important event and the entire General Assembly. Thank you, Senator. I'd like to now introduce Mayor Peter Nystrom from the City of Norwich. Uh, and help each other out. 
And in the, the short period of time, I believe it was like August that we started? Last year. For last year, when you showed up. <laughs> um, and since then, just working with them, it's just a phenomenal program. Uh, and we are blessed to have the young Marines with us. We have a lot of um, older gentlemen. Uh, we have a couple, uh, or we have one World War II veteran. Uh, actually, we have two. Three, two, two. Uh, so we have a lot of older gentlemen, and they love seeing the uh, young Marines come around and just peps them right up. Uh, in order to be a member of the Marine Corps League, uh, you have to have been honorably discharged from the Marines or have been a Navy Corpsman assigned to uh, a Marine unit. And at this time, we would like to present Sergeant Major Connor McMahon. Uh, certificate congratulations to Connor McMahon from all of us at the Thames River Detachment number 1334. You have set a great example for others to follow. Take this time to be proud of your accomplishments. Dated June 8, 2013, Robert Montminy, Commandant. And we also got you um, something useful instead of just something to hang on the wall. Dietrich, who is the Young Marine First Division. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Once again, I'd like to uh, call forth uh, Unit Commander Pat McMahon. Well, good evening again. I told you I'd be back, and here I am. And we probably should have done this in the beginning, and I apologize for not, uh, but at these events, there are folks that always should be recognized, and we didn't do it initially. So if you are if you've ever worn the uniform of a military service or you're an active duty member now, please stand. And then you your service. Those who may not be familiar, familiar with the Navajo Code Talkers, they were 
enlisted in the Marines during World War II and to this day have the only unbroken code in U.S. military history. In October 2012, Khan traveled to Washington, D.C. for the annual Young Marine National Symposium. In December of 2012, took him five miles. Khan traveled to Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, a place I haven't been yet, for the annual memorial at Pearl Harbor. In February 2013, Khan traveled to the United Nations with a small contingent of Young Marines for an International Women's Rights Summit. In addition to these Young Marine accomplishments, Connor is a 2012 graduate of Connecticut's Boys State and is a two-time recipient of the Knowledge Service Youth Leadership Award. Connor will be graduating from Knowledge Free Academy High School in two weeks. Connor is a three-sport high school athlete, football, wrestling, and lacrosse, having led him lacrosse three times. Connor is a member of the Knowledge Free Academy Varsity End Club, National Chinese Honor Society, where he is the NFA Chapter Vice President, the National China Science Honor Society, where he is the Chapter Vice President, the Asian Cultures Club, and the Young Voters Society Club. Connor also holds a black belt in Kempo Karate. Connor will be attending Knowledge University this fall, the country's oldest private military college, where he will double major in criminal justice and Chinese. Connor has also been accepted into the Corps of Cadets, where, Connor, where he will continue to pursue his dream of becoming a commissioned officer in the United States Marine Corps. And as, as his unit commander, it is my distinct pleasure to present Young Marine Sergeant Major Connor. family, friends that have spent the last 24 hours with you that are here. So, um, I just wanted to talk about everyone here that I invited and uh, that showed up. All of you in some aspect of my life have supported me and for that I really appreciate it because I know it's extremely hard to get any, anywhere without support in life and uh, I just want to thank you. So, especially the dignitaries, you're on the stage for a reason, so thank you. Um, my family, if you could stand, I'll announce your name. My grandfather, uh, Frederick Mann, so you have to stand this right now.
gives you a blend of cultures, if you could say that. So um, I know we already did it, but thank you again to everyone who has served here, or served our country, uh, as you all understand. So all the veterans, thank you again. Um, the Young Marines takes great pride in respecting and hold, holding our veterans to a, a high level of honor and respect because you've put your lives on the line for our country and there's really nothing greater than any citizen that could do that. So I want to say thank you again. Um, the importance of drug demand reduction, which is really what the Young Marines promotes because it's the focal point for drug demand reduction for the Marine Corps, um, that's really helped me in my life, stayed me, uh, kept me focused, and, and uh, I think if a lot more um, kids at a young age have had that, then the um, society would be a lot better off because they'd have goals, they'd be focused, they wouldn't be um, wishy-washy, and I think uh, it'd be a lot better. Um, I want to remind all the young Marines that are here, thank you for coming. Not all of you, not all the whole units here, but for the ones that are here, thank you. Um, I always push to strive for your best. There's nothing I dislike more than laziness. So all of you here, I know you strive to do your best. Keep doing that, even when things get tough, because I know things get tough, trust me. And um, I just want you to keep doing your best and good things will come, believe me. And I wanted to also uh, thank everyone that came here for their time and for supporting me. So thank you very much. Thank you, Tony. I'd like to call forth uh, now Division I uh, Deputy Commander Robert Dietrich. Boy, do I have a tough act to follow. <laughs> I, uh, on behalf of the National Director, the Deputy Director, Division One Commander, myself, I want to thank you for your service to the Young Marine Program. I've got a couple of letters to read from both the Division Commander and the Deputy Division Commander, but before I do, I want to tell you just how impressed I've been over the years with you. You've got a lot of ribbons on your, on your chest there. All of them were earned. You learned some hard lessons. You did it with grace and dignity. And more importantly, you set the example for all of them to follow. That's something to be proud of. Those are big shoes. You wore them well. More importantly than all those ribbons is the effect that you have on the young Marines in our program, the eight, and nine, and ten year olds. By your example, your mentoring, and your leadership, I know that you left your unit and our division in good hands. And those young Marines, those younger ones, who are our future, are going to look at what you did and how you did it and be able to carry on and fill those shoes and avoid that you leave and you move on. So, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for your contribution to the program. And your community. A lot of a lot of community hours. You set the example with your sports, living a healthy, drug-free lifestyle. And a lot of people in the world will say that America is in tough shape, that our youth are not what our greatest generation was. In some cases that's true. In this case, it is not. So that being said, let me get to the formals here. And we'll see if I can uh, carry on with everybody else that started here. I have a letter here from the Deputy Division Commander to Young Marine Sergeant Major McMahon. The invitation to attend your retirement ceremony was received and appreciated as a great honor, Connor. That is why it saddened me to state that I will be unable to attend to the previous scheduled events. Connor, you are a fine young man and have been a shining star in the Young Marine program from the beginning. Your awards and accomplishments are a testament to your character and determination that I know will continue and guide you down the road of life. You have traveled today with much precision. Of all the awards, the one that I feel is truly showing of the young Marine's character is the Community Service Ribbon. You have over 400 plus hours of community service. Wow, that is a lot of volunteering. That shows that a young Marine is involved and wants to do something positive for others. 
Never forget that your leadership skills earned is much sharper than most, if not all, of your peers. That said, you will find that those skills and skill sets in working with and leading others will continue to grow and be honed even sharper as more experience is gained, I have no doubt you will excel. Please know that, that I respect you as a man and have nothing but respect for the path you will move forward with. Please accept the enclosed as a small token of my respect for you. Super Fidelius, Joseph, and Venerable Action. Thank you, Jerry. Please allow me to be among the legions of loyal followers who wish to congratulate you on your retirement from the Young Marines. Many, many years ago, one of my commanding officers told me that if you can look back and honestly say that you have made a difference, then you know you were a, su a successful leader. You don't have to ask the question because I will tell you that from where I sit, you have made a most valuable contribution to your unit and this organization. You have represented the Young Marines to audiences large and small with conviction, letting them know that all they need to know about the organization, the pride you showed, and the commitment with which you have conducted yourself over the many years is commendable and deserving of special mention. As you leave the ranks of the Young Marines, know that you have probably left a bunch of little counter clones in your wake. <laughs> If they conduct themselves as you have, if they hold their heads high, if they put others before themselves, they will become successful and valuable contributors to the program. As they say, fair winds and following seas. And if there's anything I can do for you, I would be disappointed if you did not ask. Stay well and suffer fidelis, Michael B. Kessler, National Director and CEO of the Young Marines. Robert Murphy is a former unit commander for the career of young Marines. He 
was or close to being a charter member of that unit. He was a, he's been a mentor for me as far as the unit commander. He is completing his 18th year in the program and hasn't had a child in the program for five or six years, uh, but still does it for the love of the program and I think the love of the kids. He's the, um, he'll present next as the battalion, fourth battalion commander, which is the battalion that oversees three rivers and oversees Con. Mr. Robert Murphy. Sergeant Major Connor McMahon of the Three Rivers Marines Unit 
has successfully completed the requirements for the PFT Level 1 Silver Award score of 459 and is authorized to wear the ribbon as of June 2nd, 2013. Patrick T. McMahon, Unit Commander. First reading will be done by Lance Corporal Andrew Weinsteiger. I am the flag of the United States of America. My name is Old Glory. I fly atop the world's tallest buildings. I stand watch in America's halls of justice. I stand watch in America's halls. I fly majestically over the great institutions of learning. I stand guard with the greatest military power in the world. Look up and see me. Next, 
Corporal Johnny Gallagher. I stand for peace and honor, truth and justice. I stand for freedom. I am confident. I am ignorant. I am proud. When I have flown with my fellow banners, my head is held a little higher. My colors are a little brighter. A truer. Corporal Lisa Delort. I bow to no one. I am recognized all over the world. I am worshipped. I am saluted. I am respected. I am revered. I am loved. I am feared. Corporal Lindsay Delort. For more than 200 years, I have fought in every battle of every war. Gettysburg, Shiloh, Appomattox, San June Hill, the trenches of France, the Argentine Forest, Anzio, Rome, the beaches of Normandy, the jungles of Guam, Okinawa, Tarawa, Korea, Vietnam, and in the heat of the Persian Gulf, and a score of other places, long forgotten by all. But those who were there with me, I was there. Corporal Christopher Doran. I led my sailors and marines. I followed them. I walked over them. They loved me. I was on a small hill on Iwo Jima. I was dirty, battle torn, and tried my best, but I'm tired. <coughs> But my sailors and marines cheered me. I was proud. Gunnery Sergeant Paige LaFlemme. I have been soiled, burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of countries that I have helped to set free. It does not hurt, for I am invincible. I have been soiled, burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of my own country. And when it is done by those whom I have served in battle, it hurts. But I shall overcome, for I am strong. Master Sergeant Sean Dorn. I have slipped the, sh the surely bounds of Earth, and from my vantage point on the moon, I stand watching the new frontiers of space. I have been the silent witness to all of America's finest hours. Unit Commander Patrick McMahon. But my finest hour comes when I am torn into strips to be used as bandages for my wounded comrades on the field of battle. When I fly half mast to honor my sailors and marines, and when I lie in the trembling arms of a grieving mother, at the graveside of a fallen son or daughter, I am proud. Sergeant Mickey McMahon, this flag is flown over the city of Norwich City Hall and is presented to you as a reminder that wherever you go, Norwich will always be home. Young Ranger Sergeant Major, Tom McMahon. <clears throat> My name is Old Gloria. Long may I wave. Dear God, long may 